Finally, I got myself a golden cat fruit in Battle Cats, and today we're gonna feed it to the big man. Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. So the cat shrine was finally good to me, and there's a reason why. Originally, when the cat shrine came out, if you gave it 1 million XP, there was a 1% chance of getting a gold cat fruit. So not, not that good, you know what I mean? I don't know when this happened guys, but there was an update that changed it, so uh, instead of having a 1% chance, I guess you still technically have a 1% chance, but also if you just do it 30 times, you're guaranteed to get the gold cat fruit. So uh, today, I guess I did my 30th modest offering, and now I have gold cat fruit, and now we can get cat god to his true form, which apparently still sucks. It's a sad world we live in, guys, when God himself is just not even good. Not this cat god. Go away, cat god. I'm talking about the other cat god. Cat god the awesome. Started out as uh, cat god the great. What's better than being great or awesome? Um, amazing? Golden, apparently, is better than great and awesome. Okay, great. You know, I'm kind of thinking about evolving myself, but I don't think anything but a gold cat fruit will do. Maybe try the shrine. I tried the shrine many, many times, and luckily, with the guarantee, I now have it. It's just like, you know, when you're rolling in the gotcha, there's a good chance you won't get anything at all and you'll be sad, but when there's a guarantee, at least there's a chance you won't be sad. In this case, there's a very, very good chance I won't be sad because I only wanted this, okay? Wow. Wow! You, you, God, you look slightly different, God! I mean, you got a nice tan. That's, that's great. Still a low quality garbage cat. A deity so resplendent that it's actually obnoxious. His holy sneeze knocks back all but metal enemies and his omni strikes are pretty cool too. Um, anything different? Yeah? Extra money! Wow, money rewards from defeating indicated enemy types will be increased, so anything but metal. Alright, well, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Cat God the Golden with me, and I'm gonna try and beat a chapter of Stories of Legend. Will it be a hard chapter? No way! Cause we got Cat God the Golden! Duh! Again, guys, apparently he's not that great. Apparently, Cat God is just, he's, he's like a low tier, you know what I mean? Makes me sad, but that's okay. We're gonna pretend that Cat God the, the Golden is just an absolutely wonder- What? I did it again! I did it again! Stop asking me if I wanna go see the zombies, I don't even like them! Hold up. Maybe I can get back some of my XP, guys. <laughs> Taste of success. Let's, uh, let's do Merciless XP. Have I never done this before? You telling me I've never beaten Merciless XP? I just gotta assume there's a uh, a black unit or two in here, right? Gotta be. I can't believe I almost made a loadout without putting Cat God the Golden in. That would be just that would be a sin, guys. We gotta from now on. Oh crap! I gotta I gotta stop. Wait, stop. From now on, Cat God is permanent in our loadout. And by by from now on, I mean like for today. Whoa, guys! I found a real life battle cat. Check this out. Oh my god. Do you know any special moves? Do you, do you are, are you anti black? No, my cat is not racist, okay? My cat my cat is accepting of all colors and he's not a battle cat. He's a he's just a cat. Okay, I need to ignore my real cat because I would like to focus on my fake cat. Now let's do some merciless XP. Damn it, I did it again. I forgot the reason I got out was to take off XP up and cat CPU because I just don't need it. <laughs> Here we go. It's just a dog. Kill it. Bam! Yeah, that's right. I, I, I haven't used Can Can a lot for the anti-black stages because I, I have so many good anti-black units, but since I love Can Can so much, I just I just gotta do it. You know, you know I gotta do it to him. You know I also gotta do this. Oh my god, look at that guy! He spent way too long in the tanning bed, guys. This the, this one has the razor back in it, which is the extra scary boar. But luckily, I got a lot of bombers. I think. Oh god. Hey yo, <laughs> it's this it's a slow cannon. <laughs> He's close to death, right? That's why he just got powered up a little bit. We'll be okay, guys. We'll be okay. Oh my god, God's doing a thing. What is he doing? 
Pow! Look at all that stuff that didn't happen. Watch your toes, God, because you might you might get them destroyed. Is that two Razorbacks, guys? Because it kind of looks like there's two of them. There is two of them! The funny thing about these black stages, guys, is the fact that, you know, Bomber Cat is such an easy cat to get. And it really just carries these types of stages. Now, another one just came out. But then, th then the second one died. So let's, we just gotta, I think, maybe kill faster than they spawn. Or maybe they'll only spawn so many. Every, every level's different. Okay, not gonna lie, guys, that got a little bit scary for a second. Now we froze this guy. I don't think, I don't think we have any other problems. I just want a whole bunch of XP, man. You know how much XP I spent trying to get freaking Cat God? A whole bunch! And look, they, they just killed all my bomber skin, man. You, you're the worst, bro. You're the worst chair guy. And I'm gonna send in another Cat God. And yeah, what are you gonna do now, huh? Kill that one too? Oh, he's gonna kill that one too. Hey, look at that. I actually got to send out Awaken Bahamut to help out with the last part. Lovely. Okay, I was about to say, is that it really? I just did this whole stage for 685k, but I also got another 510. And I discovered a normal stage. And also I get the clear reward, so that's, that's good. All right, now it is time to move on to area 22. The Roswell Incident. Two units, I think this is a uh, starred alien heavy chapter. Doge and something else. I don't I don't know what else we're gonna have here. We got the you know the alien star doge thing. Get one of these. I'm just gonna Oh, okay. Wow, really weak, eh? It's okay. I hear <laughs> like I didn't look up strats strats or anything for this, but um I did see something online about how Catalyte pretty much just solo carries this entire uh, this entire chapter, so we'll we'll see how that goes. We, I kind of wish we had like you know anti metal, but we don't. And I forgot to take Cat Gob with me. I might actually need to do something about this, guys, because that is a lot of little metal boys. Just get me out of here. It's a, a little bit of energy wasted. That's all. Two big problems. Problem number one: I don't have a critical hitter. Problem number two: Where the hell's Cat God? Oh, I'm gonna get rid of you, bro. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I'm getting rid of chill as well, guys. No more chill cat. We don't even want it. Let's just go one, two, three, four. Oh, I didn't, I didn't need to put that one out. Uh, four. There you go. We need the critical hitter so we can get rid of these little doges. Okay. It's just two doge units. It's all that's in this level. We just need to take them out and hopefully not get, you know, teleported in the process. But that that's what the catalytes are for. Okay. And we gotta send out God, because God is just, he's just there to strike fear into the eyes of the enemy, okay? That's it. That's all, that's all, that's all we want, okay? Throw them off their game a little bit. Oh shit, is that God? Is that God himself over there? This makes me feel bad. <laughs> I'd feel bad if I was in a war with something and they brought God. Let's go, God. Bam, pow. Like, it feels like it does nothing. <laughs> Okay, all right. Oh, that's a pretty good XP drop there, not gonna lie. What else you got for me? Cat abductions, doesn't sound good. Two more units, probably completely different units, but that's okay, because I got a nice well-rounded, kind of can take whatever gets thrown at me, maybe. Oh, but then this music comes on, and now I'm not so sure. No, I still am. Oh no, not Cory! Guys, Cory's in the house, what are we gonna do? Let's try this. Hello, Cory! I'm just here to dance for you, bro. Yeah! Okay, so... Survived. No, you gotta do the attack now. You're gonna die. You're gonna die if you don't attack Cory. Bonk. Oh! Yeah. That's right. That's right. Bah! Bah! Okay, that was fun. This guy can teleport people. So, oh, he's, he's dead. So he won't be doing that. Oh my god, God is here! I have all these meat shields that I probably shouldn't have, guys. But we're here now, and it's just, I guess it's just more, more Cory, Cory and the boys. But the boys aren't even like, they're not even difficult, man. They get one-shotted by Can-Can. So like, uh, whatever. Cory, more like Bory. No, more like Snorri. More like, give me some Mori. Come on, man, look at that, we're so close. 12K left on the base and Cory decided to push up a little bit. Get him now, 
There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got another drop reward, some meteorites. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, Adamski type. What's an Adamski type? Sometimes you gotta look things up on the internet, guys. Adamski. Oh. Listen to this. George Adamski was a Polish-American author who became widely known in UFOlogy circles and to some degree in popular culture after he displayed numerous photographs in the 1940s and 50s that he said were of alien spacecraft. Whoa. I think it's safe to assume that nothing can stop me, right? So let's just uh, keep it going. Three units this time. Crazy, man. Oh God, it's a Zamel. <laughs> what what's going on with this thing, man? What happened to your hump, bro? Guys, this is gonna be bad. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is gonna be terrible. Seems a little bit uh, not what I want right now, you know. We do have Aphrodite, <laughs> so you never know. Maybe she can get some. You know, maybe she can lob some hits in, or maybe we can get even, like, Cyberpunk to do that. This is awkward, man. Oh, no. And now the elephant's here, guys. I don't- I don't know if this is gonna happen, guys. I think I might need to actually do some- Well, there goes- There goes the elephant's barrier. Could've been much of one. There you go, you get a little thing. You can die. You can get hit. The elephant's dead?! Uh-oh! God's here to do nothing! Okay, let's see- let's see if God can do something. I hope you're not outranged by a camel, bro. Hope that's not- Oh, God. Okay. Go, 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 go! Well, he's dead. They did it. Oh, my God. The can-cans are in, folks. Now we just need to meet shield in front of the camel until the base is destroyed. Can-can over here just casually doing an insane amount of damage. Look, we got some bones, man. Beast bones. All right. Are we half done already? Come on. I thought a damski would be harder than that. Chupacabra love. Okay, Chupacabra is not an alien. All right, what it, but maybe maybe they got some Chupacabras over in Area 22, which is definitely a real place, right? All right, let's love the Chupacabras. This one has three, so not gonna change anything. I mean, oh shit. <laughs> this doesn't feel good. I don't like that. Oh, he's hurting my base. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get the can can out on you. Bam! That's right. Now what are you gonna do, huh? Jump right over can can? You're just gonna jump right over can can? Oh, that's the biggest mistake of your life. I don't know if you chose to do that, but still, it's a big mistake to do it. Boop! I love that, guys. I love that can can actually sits like you know in front of the the effective area for this guy, just dancing while he tries his best. <laughs> it wasn't very effective. Did you guys all just die, like, immediately? Because that's embarrassing, bro. You love to see it. Look, he's just jumping over us. You're the worst. What kind of dolphin are you? Oh, my. Oh, okay. All right. That's... You would have thought something would have been... You, you would have... You would have thought it wouldn't have been so bad. Tunguska event. What the hell is a Tunguska? Gotta look that up now. Guys, if you didn't already know, watching my Battle Cats videos is actually an educational experience. All right. The Tunguska event was a massive explosion that occurred near Podkamenaya, Podkamenaya Tunguska River in Russia. Okay, it was on, in 1908. But what does that have to do with aliens? What kind of explosion was it? At least three people died. Oh. The explosion is generally attributed to the airburst of a stony meteoroid about 100 meters in size. An impact event. Even though no impact crater has been found, the object is thought to have disintegrated at an altitude of 5 to 10 kilometers rather than to have hit the surface of the Earth. What? And that messed everything up, eh? Okay, we're back to the broccoli forest, guys. Broccolini forest or something. We know what to do. We've got catalytes, so this thing doesn't, you know, send us away. And, you know, this is gonna be an easy chapter anyway, guys, because we have all of the, um... We have all of the treasures from Into the Future, right? No, Cats of the Cosmos. I always get those two confused. So, like... 
Did, did you really just do that on your own? Could you have actually soloed this level, Catalyte? Because it seems like you could have, and that's kind of ridiculous. Let me at least put out Cat God. He just wants to watch, okay? Some people want to watch the world burn. A really, really effective strategy there, Penguin. Well, we got a meteorite for it, so that makes sense considering Tunguska. And now, off-world weary. Guys, I know God didn't help at all, but isn't it just nice to have him along for the ride to say, hey, big guy, you're great. Thank you for all your help. All right, so off-world weary. Don't know what that means. Catalyte can solo it, right? Oh, oh, here he comes. So we got a gorilla, guys. I don't know what this guy can even do. Let's test him and see, because I don't remember what his special abilities are. Really? You can't kill a meat shield? <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you don't mind my big friend coming to watch you die, bonk. And now, now Can Can, okay? Someone to destroy his barrier, and then apparently the Kitty of Liberty also destroyed him. So he's a two hit on the Kitty of Liberty. Good to know. Re real good to know. <laughs> This is awkward, man. Oh, but here's a new unit we've never seen before. Wow, we bet it also sucks. Kitty of Liberty, give him a. There you go. And oh man, Kitty of Liberty went boom, and then Can Can went swim, and then everything was destroyed. All right, and now we're just now we're just chilling out at the base, and Cat God once again is just just being Cat God, guys. Just uh, just just chilling, right? Like just just having a good time. Wow. All right, I, I feel like, I feel like it might finally be time for us to just do the stream, guys. Because we have like just a few levels left, so, so let's do it, okay? Either next weekend or the weekend after, we will do a Battle Cats live stream here on the YouTube channel. Uh, same time as the videos normally go up, which is noon Pacific time. I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know in a community post beforehand as well, in case, uh, in case you wanna make sure you're there or whatever, but yeah, we'll get these done, and then we'll go to the Uncanny Legends, and then we'll start feeling pretty bad, probably, because, you know, I'm a little higher level than what I need to be for these stages, but it's gonna get, it's gonna get pretty bad. Anyway, guys, so that's Cat God the Golden. He's like normal Cat God, but golden. Pretty crazy, right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.